Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be filled with a lot of my recent beauty favorites and also some products that I got recently um, that I just wanted to share with you. I feel like the past few months have been flying by, so I have had no time to even film my monthly favorites video, so I apologize, but hopefully this video will make up for it. I have so many videos that I need to film and I've been kind of stocking up on videos, so I'll hopefully be shooting a lot of video out, videos out for you maybe like two a week. I'm not going to like promise that, but I'm hoping to go back to two a week. I've just been so swamped with work, and um, I've been trying to do a couple trips this summer, so there's just a lot going on. But anyway, I just wanted to share a couple things with you, so stick around if you wanted to see what I have to share. So last month, I believe, I went to Generation Beauty and I got so many amazing products from different companies and also from a huge swag bag that I got from Ipsy and a lot of the products that I received, I've been using a lot lately the past couple months just to try out. I love playing with new products and seeing what is out there. So a lot of the products are from that trip and... Um, I just have to share them with you because they're so amazing and I think you guys might like them too and they've been definitely in my everyday routine lately and I've been using them a lot in my videos. Because I've been on the go so much, I have been using a lot of um, skincare body products that have really just made me relax from the scent and it just feels good and I do like a spa day probably like once a week. Um, usually I do it on Sundays, just at the end of my week. I just do tons of like body products um, more in the evening, light some candles, watch a movie, take a nice hot shower, um, put a mask on. So I was going to share some of the products I've been using recently just to kind of de-stress and relax. So Lush had an amazing booth at Generation Beauty and I absolutely love their products. I wish I had a Lush closer to me. Um, I have to go maybe like a half an hour away just to go to my um, nearest Lush store. But the gals at Generation Beauty, I actually met some of them from Lush and they were so sweet and sent me some products to try which I've been using lately and they've been helping me out so much. So the first one is Life's a Beach. This one is a body scrub and I like to do a body scrub maybe once or twice a week um, just to, you know, get dead skin off, um, just make your skin really smooth. So I really like this one. Um, it is fine sea salt um, and it has sand and a vanilla caramel scent. The scent is to die for. It's amazing. Um, sometimes I have to be in the mood for vanilla scents, but this one is just awesome. So it does, it literally looks like beach sand. I don't know if you can see it. So it's loose. Um, it's very kind of gritty, but I like it because it doesn't dissolve right away when you're like scrubbing it on your body. And just the scent is just so refreshing and nice. Um, the other body scrub that I've been using is Ocean Salt, and I got this from my Lush store. This is a face and body scrub. I don't know if I would use this on my face. Sometimes I get kind of scared using scrubs on my face because I don't want to scratch my face. I think it's just a mental thing. I don't know. Um, but again, this is another body scrub, and this is coarse and fine sea salt scrub with organic lime juice to brighten and avocado butter to soften. And this one, it's more like... I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of like a paste, but it has chunks of the sea salt in there. This one smells really good too. It smells very spa-like. Not as sweet, but um, very calming and refreshing. And um, another product from Lush. I am so not a like soap, bar soap person. Like bar soap kind of freaks me out. I don't know why. Um, I think if it's only myself using it, it's fine. But when I see like a bar soap, um, next to someone's sink and that's all I have to wash my hands. I think it just kind of grosses me out. So I have this like weird complex on um, bar soap. So um, Lush actually sent me one and um, she used this on me at Generation Beauty and it felt so amazing. Um, with me, like I'm really bad at moisturizing my body. As much as I love my skin to be super hydrated, 
I'm just so lazy and I just sometimes forget to put some um, body lotion on. And my skin gets really, really dry, so it's my own fault. But um, she actually used this on me and it's a bar soap that actually exfoliates and it has like oils in it and I feel like it leaves this really thin layer of oil all in your skin so when you're out of the shower you just feel completely hydrated like you just put like um, lotion or body moisturizer on so I don't know I've been loving this it's called Buffy um, I did use it once so it's just a little square bar um, soap and it has um, definitely some texture to it so you can see like the little bits in there that will help exfoliate but it's really the consistency and the oils that I really really love and the scent is also really nice it almost smells like I don't know it just smells amazing it has some amazing ingredients in there and I love this stuff also, another product that I've been using from Lush is Angels on Bare Skin. I got this from my goodie bag from Ipsy, and this stuff smells so good. I love, love, love lavender. I've always loved it since I was little. My mom used um, essential lavender oils on me, and it's just been a scent that kind of st stuck around with me, so anything with lavender I'm obsessed with. This is Angels on Bare Skin, and it is a face and body cleanser. Um, I just used this on my face, and this is what it looks like. It almost looks like Play-Doh, like clay or something. Play-Doh, I guess, is the best way to describe it, but there's like just little bits of lavender in here. So you just get a little um, tiny bit, and then you mix it with water, and then you scrub it on your face. Ugh, it's amazing. Ugh, I love the smell of lavender. It smells so good. Okay, one last thing from Lush, and I swear I'm done. So this is their Charity Pot. It's a hand and body lotion. Um, it has Save the Frogs on there. I'm not sure if they switch up the Charity Pots or if there's only one. I'm not sure, but that's what it's called. And this is just a body butter, I think. Um, well, hand and body lotion. And it smells, it's like such a unique scent. It's very thick, and I just got the little small size. Uh, it smells so good. I think before I go to bed, I just put a little bit like on my neck just so when I sleep it kind of I smell the scent and it's very calming and relaxing and it just makes your skin feel just to die for. So I've been using this a lot lately more for the scent and the hydration of my skin. It just really helps me fall asleep and have a good night's sleep just because the scent it smells so good. Okay, moving on. So I was um at the Too Faced booth at Generation Beauty and I met the team there and they're so nice and they're featuring their new Born This Way foundation which I have been wearing since Generation Beauty. I love the foundation. It's amazing. Um, so the, the Born This Way foundation is definitely one of my favorites. It just gives more of like a satin dewy glow to the skin. I'm wearing this today and I love it. This is in the color sand. I did do a video using this foundation. I will probably put the link down below but it's a great foundation that I've been loving. Um, I'm kind of late on trying these palettes but I've been using them like every day. I love them and I'm wearing them today. So it's the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palettes. They sent these to me and um, I just absolutely love the scent. Usually I'm weird about like sweet scents, especially with makeup. I don't know. I'm not a fan. But the eyeshadows smell like chocolate. It smells so good. Like every time I open up my palette, it just, I get a whiff of it and I'm like, oh, it smells so good and it makes me hungry. <laughs> so um, I got the chocolate bar, the first one that came out. I've really been loving that. I need to do a video, or if you guys want me to do a video with this palette, I definitely will. And the one I'm wearing today is the Semi-Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. If you want me to do more up-close look on these, let me know. I probably won't in this video because it's been around for a while and I'm sure you guys have seen them. I think the Semi-Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette is my favorite. That's the one I'm wearing today. So I think last month or the month before, um, Bare Minerals launched their new brush line. They came out with, I believe, 17 new brushes, which I received from Bare Minerals, and I love them. It's so nice for Bare Minerals to come out with a new brush line. I think it's great for artists or just people who 
are new to brushes, I think brushes are just an essential tool for makeup application or like good makeup application because they really do help. So I just have a couple favorites um, from the brushes that they've launched. If you want me to do a whole separate video showing you each and every brush that they launched and how I use it, let me know. I did film one but I didn't like how it turned out so I ended up not posting it. But if you guys want me to do one, just let me know. So the first one that I've been using every day is the Blooming Blush brush and I just like how nice and curved it is. It's synthetic, it's super soft. I have been using this for my bronzer so usually when I put my bronzer on I just do it on my temples and then I turn the brush and put this right in the hollows of my cheeks and a little bit under my jaw. So this brush has been amazing and it's been in my everyday makeup routine. Also the other brush that I really like is this little smudger brush. It's called the Smoky Smudger Brush. And it's very dense, it's small, and it's a perfect size just to stick right underneath your lash line to smoke out your shadow, smudge out a liner, or just apply a dark shadow just to give you kind of that smoky look. So that's a great brush. Um, I love blending brushes or crease brushes. This is called the Blender, and this is just great. I don't really put any product on here, but I use this just to kind of move my product around in my crease or when I'm blending. Um, you can also blend out product underneath your eye area with this. It's awesome. And the last one, which is probably my favorite, is the Shade and Diffuse Eye Brush. So this is a dual fiber brush. Um, it has the thinner bristles up at the top and it's more dense at the base. And this has been a great brush for concealer. So I use this to kind of apply concealer underneath my eye area and then I use it to blend it out. You can also use it to blend out shadow or turn it on its side and put this in the crease. So this is definitely a multifunctional brush and it's just been a great addition to my brush collection. Always trying new mascaras because I feel like you can never have too many mascaras. Um, so this one is from It Cosmetics. Um, it let me try this and I love this actually for my bottom lashes. Um, I have been using Latisse so my lashes actually have been a little bit longer. I don't know if you guys have noticed so um, I really like to play up my lower lashes now that they're longer. So this brush is amazing because one the formula but I think it's really the brush that makes it like a great mascara. So there's a little ball at the top of the mascara and I just use this to kind of brush um, the mascara through my lashes and kind of piece everything and separate it. This has been a really nice mascara to use lately. So I've been using that. Another mascara, again, I'm late on trying this. This is the Better Than Sex Mascara from Too Faced. And it's just a great formula and it really makes my lashes look really thick and full. I actually layer this on top of my Bare Minerals Flawless Definition Mascara. Um, that's still always going to be my favorite mascara, but this is great to kind of put on top just to make everything a little bit thicker. So it's a great formula um, and I've been using that a lot recently in my videos. Love it so far. Depending on the season, I usually switch up my skincare. Um, Usually with the consistency, I kind of switch it up. So because it's been so hot so far this summer, um, it's just, I hate, I hate being hot. I am so much of a fall winter gal. I'm definitely not a summer gal. But um, I have been using this. This is the MAC Mineralized Charged Water. I haven't used this in a really long time, but I busted it out recently because it's more of a gel texture and it's super super hydrating it feels like I'm putting like a thick water all over my face I know that sounds weird but that's the best way to describe it I'm almost out I need to get some more but this has been great to kind of refresh in my skin in the morning before I do my foundation routine so this has been great another thing that I've been using on my eyes which is kind of like the same consistency is the elf illuminating eye cream I always use an eye cream every every day my eyes right now are on fire because I think I've been doing so many makeup tutorials and I, I just my eyes are hot mess. I have to use these creams on my eyelids because they get bumpy. I'm sure you guys have seen it in my videos. They're just always dry and they're, it's so hard to keep them smooth. But um, I'm all about hydration with the eyes. So this has been really nice. I think it's, it's really inexpensive for an eye cream, especially if you're starting out, you know. Um, if you don't want to get something like really expensive, try this. It's about the same um, kind of texture. It's almost like a gel cream. 
um, and it feels really great around the eye area. I've been using that a lot lately. Okay, so I have been trying some products from IT lately. Um, I won a giveaway from them and then I also um, received from some products from them because I also met them at Generation Beauty. All super, super nice women. Um, so IT Cosmetics sent me this Your Skin But Better CC Plus Illumination Cream. Um, it's color correcting, it's a full coverage cream which is kind of hard to find when it comes to a CC cream. Um, it's anti-aging hydration serum and it has SPF 50 which is awesome. It's so hard to find a product that has a high sunscreen like that that doesn't feel too heavy. So this is what it looks like. I really like this one. I have the other one, like the original one, but this is the illuminating. Um, you know, I really like a dewy look to my skin, so I have been using this. It gives like amazing full coverage, so this has definitely been a favorite of mine. Um, I have used it in a couple videos, I think, but um, I'll probably be using it a lot more. Love this if you want a full coverage CC cream that does a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, so let's talk about concealers. So this is a concealer that I tried from IT Cosmetics. Um, they also sent this to me. It's Bye Bye Under Eye um, Concealer, and it's basically a full coverage waterproof concealer. And this stuff is awesome if you want full coverage underneath your eye area and you want it to stay all day. Um, because it's a thick consistency, I usually use my Beauty Blender and spray a little Fix Plus or a setting spray on my Beauty Blender just to kind of blend it out, but I don't know. I love it. I kind of mix two colors together. I mix the neutral, medium, and tan. I feel like that's like a perfect combo for my skin tone, but if I had to pick one, I would just do the neutral, medium. It'll just help brighten underneath my eye area, um, but it's a really great concealer if you want a full coverage that stays for a long time. So I use Fix Plus all the time for MAC, and they just came out with a few new scents. I think they came out with Lavender, Rose, and then a few others. I have the Lavender and the Rose already, <clears throat> excuse me, and I love the Lavender so much. But I decided to get a couple more. This is the Fix Plus, and this scent is Yuzu. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but it smells really refreshing, and I love this one. Also, the other one that I got, this is coconut, which, oh my gosh, it smells like a beach. Oh, it smells so good, and it feels so good, especially it being so hot out. I've been just spraying this on my face when I feel really hot, and it just kind of cools me down. It smells good, and I don't know. I love Fix Plus. You can use it for so many different things. So recently I've been trying a few liquid lipsticks and you guys know liquid lipsticks are so in right now and I feel like almost every brand has them. So the brands that I have played around with recently, um, one is Ofra. I don't know if you've heard of Ofra. I'm new to Ofra too, but I've been using their products and I really like them. Um, I have four liquid lipsticks except I can't find one. It's a gorgeous purple and I really, really, really wanted to show you guys, but I can't find it. So um, these three are what I have to share. This one is Daytona Beach, which is a beautiful coral. Um, this one I used recently in my last video with the lime green eyes. This one is Mina. It's just a really pretty vampy, dark, deep, like purple. And this one is nice if you want like a nice rich brown. And this is Americano, which I really like. Um, I do have a coupon code for, I believe, 30% off and um, it's down below. I think it's Ariel Hope. So check out the coupon, co coupon code down below if you want a percentage off from Ofra Cosmetics. And this is the NYX Liquid Suede. So these are very new. It's a cream lipstick and it has more of like a suede matte um, like velvety finish and these are my three faves that they came out with. I have others if you want me to do like a swatching video I can. Um, but this one is, what's the name of it? It's called Pink Lust. It's just the brightest bright pink. It's so gorgeous. Um, this one is a gorgeous, gorgeous red. It's called Kitten Heels. That's such a cute name. Um, so this is a, more of a blue-based red, which I really like. And this, it's like a true orange. It's called Orange County. And I don't know, I think the consistency of them is really nice. The packaging is cute. 
And I actually like to do ombre looks with these. I did an ombre look just playing around one night with these two and it looked really pretty. If you want me to do like a post or a look or something with like an ombre lip, let me know. But these, um, they're coming out soon if they haven't already and they're awesome. If you like NYX products and something that's inexpensive and you just want to try a new liquid lipstick. Last but not least, I received a new palette from Sedona Lace, and this one is the Pretty Lil Miss Grace palette. I don't know if you guys know her. I'm sure you know her. She's pretty big on YouTube, and I actually met her in person when I went down to L.A. on my last trip. Super nice. Gave her a big hug. She's gorgeous in person, and we always talk about how we love each other's hair. I really want her hair. Um, and her hair extensions like she looks so cute with short hair and long hair but anyway she um, teamed up with Sedona Lace and came out with their own palette it's so cute and I feel like it totally is her I know she got a tattoo with this um, print after the palette came out but it's just a great fun palette um, she was kind of one of the first youtubers that I started to follow she just used so many bright vibrant colors and that just really caught my attention and interests me so she came out with this palette and it's totally her like look how bright and vibrant these colors are and I don't know I just think they're so fun I gotta figure out a tutorial to do with these colors um, I'm just kind of overwhelmed with how bright bright they are in a good way um, so they're so pigmented too um, let me just do like a couple swatches of some colors. They're so pretty. Um, let's do the pink one. So they're so fun and bright. So I'm so happy for her and I love Sedona Lace. I've been working with them, you know, doing reviews for them for a while. Just they're such a great company and their brushes are bomb.com. So, so happy for Grace and um, if you want to check out her palette, I'll put a link down below for you guys to check out on the Sedona Lace website and I'll be hopefully making a video with that palette soon. But I wanted to share that in this video because I was really excited that that came out. Okay, so I know this was kind of a lengthy video, I'm sorry, but I did have a lot to share with you guys. I had even more, but I had to narrow it down because I knew this video was going to be so long. So I'm sorry, but I hope it makes up for all the videos or favorites videos that I didn't do the past few months. Fail on my part. Um, so anyway, if you guys want me to continue doing favorite videos, let me know. I have so many haul videos to do from different companies and just looks that I'm trying to get out. So I'm working my butt off for you. Also, I will be at BeautyCon next weekend. I have never been, but I'm really excited to go. I'm actually going with um, Erica, who does her own YouTube channel. It's called Beauty in the Vlog. She interviews tons of YouTubers, so I'll be going with her. I will also put her channel down below. If you guys are going, let me know. I would love to meet up or see you guys, and you guys can tell me all about what to expect at BeautyCon. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.